Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my channel. I am always excited to share a few minutes of your day. Sometimes it goes into a little more than just a few minutes, so I'm working on it. But anyway, thank you for joining me. To my subscribers, my loyal viewers, thank you, thank you so much. It means the world to me to have you here with me. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that little red subscribe button over here. I would love to have you come back and join us again. And I am going to be doing another plan with me week. This is actually going to be my dad's birthday week that I'm doing. And I'm not sure exactly why I picked out this kit. This is one of the first kits that I got when I got my planner. So this was maybe last October, last November. And the colors... As you can see, I mean, when I picked it out online, they were really vibrant in colors. And of course, when you get them, it wasn't exactly the same. So I have never bought from this person again. But anyway, I am going to finally use this kit. And this was called the Rose Gold Sticker. And again, there's just all kinds of stickers in this kit. And again, when I saw it online, the colors were really, really vibrant. So I guess you do have to be aware of that. And I think I did say something and... Um, I think my, the answer was every monitor shows shows it different. So I have never gone back to her, but I am looking forward to using this kit. I've got some, of course, my Weight Girl and my uh, stats for the week with my elliptical. I've got some pictures of my dad that I'm going to be using. Uh, there's an old one of him. I figured that must have been some kind of backdrop back in the day. And this is one of his brother and i'm not sure who else it would be in that picture but it's an old picture maybe from 1930s a picture of my dad in his sailor days he was in the navy a picture of us up visiting my mother's mother up in boston if it focuses as you can see it's not going to focus but really a pity when it doesn't focus but of course my brother and my sisters have beet red hair my mother had beet red hair but it was in curlers and under kerchief at the time and my grandmother was always white as far as i when, as far as i knew and that's a picture of my mom and dad when they were just a young newlywed couple they actually had such a, an incredible life together i used to love listening to the stories my mom told um his parents actually co-owned a working carnival that traveled around the Appalachian Mountain counties and things like that. So that's what they did for the first few years of their marriage. They traveled with the carnival. My dad hooked up all the electrical stuff. My mom worked ticket booths. Um, and his mother was an excellent cook. She did the cooking for all the crew and for all the guests. So anyway, used to love hearing those stories. So looking at these pictures is just going to remind me of just sitting down, um, in the living room on the floor and my mom just telling me about the stories of the carnival just um just a magical time so as you can see i have got this monstrosity over here this actually folds down to like a little traveling suitcase i've got places in here for my stickers i've got washi tape i've, I've got these ex extra folio books and again this has a nice hard top and it folds all the way down hoping that is going to help keep me organized so i have spent the last couple of days putting things in notebooks and separating my weekly kits from like um fall and spring and summer and holidays so anyway hoping that helps get me organized so anyway without further ado let's get into this kit and i'll be right back
everyone and now just going to go over the uh, finished spread with you so actually you know i wasn't happy with the quality of this kit but i do like the way it came out on my monitor these colors are looking kind of brownish and really light pink but they are a little bit more vibrant than they're showing the washi and some of the stickers that i've used are foiled so it does have some nice effects like that and again, this is uh, from March 2nd to March 8th. It's my dad's birthday week. So I just wanted to honor him with some pictures and some memories of him. So anyway, um, I always start the week over here where I put down the forecast and my elliptical steps. So the highest that we had this week was 60. So spring is trying like heck to come here. Uh, we started the day at 32. We went to 60 degrees. The coldest day of the week was on Wednesday where we started at 19 and we went to 40. The best day that I had on my elliptical was 18,420 steps. I had gone 7.36 miles all while working at my desk. Uh, the best day that I had on my Fitbit for just actual walking was on Saturday where I had 10,335 steps. So again, this week is all about my dad. So I've got this picture of him in the Navy. I believe my dad quit school when he was 15 to join the service and go um, to World War II. Uh, I think that's something that a lot of the kids did back then. I think they lied about their age and their parents were proud to let them go into the service that young. Uh, times are certainly different, but I am so glad that my dad survived and came home. And, um, of course, when he came home, he did get his GED and went through college. He became an electrical engineer and just had an amazing life working on the carnival that his parents owned. Uh, he met my mom, actually, while he was on leave uh, from the Navy up in Boston, Massachusetts. When he got out, they did uh, reconnect. And um, so that's pretty cool for me because otherwise, who knows where I would be or even if I would be here. Uh, but his parents owned a carnival um, and he actually would be the one to hook up all the attractions, all the rides, the houses, the sleeping quarters, everything that he did. He would hook up all the electricity to it. His mom ran the kitchen, so she would do take care of all the food for everyone that worked on the carnival and all of the guests. All the concession stand was from food that she cooked. Um, later on, they sold the carnival business and um, they worked on the glass. They had glass bottom boat business in Crystal River, Florida. And then later on, um, they moved up to Boston. So that was when he uh, went to, to college, got his degree on to be an electrical engineer and the rest is history. My dad loved uh, to play guitar and the banjo. He was in a local country and western band they did all like the summer festivals and the local towns around us his band was always the one that played uh, there was also a restaurant that they worked at every friday night that i remember growing up and um, he was also the band at my wedding and he loved playing the banjo and guitar and so my mom my mom actually hated music so she worked second shift and my father would be the one to take care of us at night and so we always had to watch like Hee Ha and the Glen Campbell Good Time Hour and uh, the Johnny Cash show. And he would take out either his banjo or guitar and just kind of play along with all the songs that they did. So anyway, those are some happy memories. So and again, this picture was again of him in the Navy. Um, I also so on Monday, I after work, of course, I had to work on my Plan With Me video that I actually did from January 20th, January 26th. Yeah, I am still that far behind, as you can tell. So I've got um, this uh, planner girl from GP Studio. She's getting all her planner supplies to work on her plan with me. I've got this little laptop that I believe is also from GP Studios. Um, this planning time is from uh, Scribble Prints. And this film is from Sticker Bloom. And I did that just to show that I was working on my plan with me, getting that filmed and taken care of. And I also filmed an outfit of the day look, and that is from Jump To It Designs. On to Tuesday. Tuesday, it was my dad's birthday, so I've got this cake that actually came in the weekly kit that I've used. I've got one of those quarter boxes that say, Happy Birthday, Dad. 
I uploaded my plan with me. So I've got the uh, planner here from Sugary Gal Shop. The upload again is from Sticker Bloom. The plan with me and this mix and match stickers, they are both from Jump To It Designs. Um, the mix and match, I put that there because I wanted to remember to go online. They were up to 60% off, so I wanted to see what else they had for me. I worked on YouTube for about three hours at night as well. Let's see if I can get this picture up here of my dad. So my dad is this one off into the, uh, the dark suit. And it uh, looks like they all have knickers on. So I believe this picture is probably from the 1930s. Um, his brother here was my Uncle Irving. And I do not know who the uh, person in the middle was. So on to Wednesday. So Wednesday, of course, trash day, recycle day. I got those from Planner Kate. I've got this. I worked on my Pilates reformer for about 40 minutes, and that girl is from GP Studios. I worked on YouTube for about three hours that night. I've got this picture of my dad here. I always love this picture. I have no idea where it was taken. It's probably just a nice photo backdrop that they had back in the day. It is a black and white photo because, well, I guess I didn't have color back then. So this is probably, could be early 50s, could be late 40s. And on to Thursday. So I worked on YouTube for about two hours that night. I worked on my Pilates reformer for about 40 minutes. And I've got this uh, yoga girl from Planner Kate. I also, we also had drinks after work. So I've got this wine girl from Sugary Gal Shop. I've got this grocery run sticker that I've got from Station Stickers. Uh, the grocery girl is from Planner Kate. I actually went to Colburn's after work because I needed more coffee creamer. Can you believe it? Coffee creamer. I still haven't got any toilet paper, so I am glad that I am not out. I mean, I've got plenty to probably last another month or so, but I can't believe that I cannot find it at any of the stores. But anyway, Colburn's. I've been buying this Left Field Farms sweet cream coffee creamer that I love, and they did not have it because coffee cream is just seemed to always be out as well as toilet paper. But they had another kind there that was Wide Awake Coffee Company. I had never had that, but I picked the vanilla caramel one. And oh my gosh, that is my new favorite. And of course now I can't find it anywhere. But anyway, on to Friday. So I've got my It's Friday Girl from Sugary Gal Shop. Um, we had drinks after work again. I got lazy and while I was sitting there drinking, I ordered a pizza online and then I had to pick up my pizza. So I've got this uh, cheat girl from GP Studios. There she is eating pizza because that was me after eating the whole thing by myself. That's a picture of my mom and dad when they were working on the carnival. Um, later that night, I worked on YouTube for about six hours. Um, and again, I've got this weekend banner here from Planner K because the one that came in the kit actually fell apart in my hand into about, I was trying to still put it on in pieces and it was like in seven different pieces that came in the kit. So Planner K to the rescue. I went to work from about two to six. I would have actually got to work sooner, but I was brave and I went to check out the Ever Eve store in Maple Grove, Minnesota. Love that store, and I had done a transcend a video was could have been the week before I forgot now, but anyway, I did an unboxing of that. I love the clothes in there, and I had signed up to get this box every two months, and I couldn't wait two months, so I had to go to the store. I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it in because I do get some anxiety and some panic attacks going into strange places. But I figured if I got to the door and I couldn't go in, Trader Joe's was right in, on the other side. I would go and reward myself with a Kringle for trying. But I actually made it in. Ladies, they were so helpful. Got quite a few items. So I did some shopping. I went to work. When I came home, I did actually film an outfit of the day look. Um, this sticker here is from Jump To It Designs. This work sticker here is from uh, Sticker Bloom. Um, then I also had some mix and match items that had come in during the week. So after I did my outfit of the day look, I did a try on of the mix and match items and the Ever Eve items and I uploaded and filmed a video. 
and um, the upload here is from Planner Kate. The mix and match uh, sticker is from Jump To It Designs. I also wash stocks with this laundry sticker. I'm not sure if that laundry is sticking out. It's uh, this is from Sticker. Well, maybe not Sticker Bloom. I forgot who this was from. It's from Scribble Prints. So it's a nice kind of rose gold, but it actually looks more rose than gold. And then I worked on YouTube for about five hours that night. On to Sunday. So I went to work again from 12 to 6. I actually had some boxes that I wanted to break down. I had got like a new towel warmer that came in because my other one died. I got that little suitcase thing that I wanted to break down that and so I took those into work I to put in the recycling bin and then I took all my shipping supplies that I'd got during the week like the uh, airbags and the popcorn and the paper and things to stuff in and I figured to take that to work and reuse it instead of buying new stuff to pack things in at work so and and that cleared out a little portion of my hallway so I was happy about that um, when I came home, I did some laundry, so I washed sheets and I washed lights. Those are both from Planner Kate. The work sticker, again, is from Sticker Bloom. And this little laundry uh, little puppy here with uh, some blankets on him, that is that was actually a freebie from Jump To It Designs. I actually worked on my next Plan With Me week, starting to pull some stickers and get ready for that. So this was actually a freebie, again, from Jump To It Designs. Um, the film and edit is from um, Planner Kate. And I think that's it for Sunday. This picture here is uh, is us. So I'm the little one in the middle because I'm the, well, I am the youngest. So no matter how old I get, I always get to rub it into my sisters. Yeah, I'm the youngest. Even though, you know, I'm not young anymore. But I'm still younger than they are. So it counts. Um, again, so that's uh, my sisters. They have beet red hair, just like my brother. Bright, bright red hair. So does my mother, but you can't tell because she's wearing curlers and she's got a kerchief on her head. That was kind of like her Sunday look of the day until she got a hair dryer. Then she did it Saturday nights or something so we could go and visit her mom on Sundays. And my grandmother here, she's I, she had bright red hair too, she said when she was younger, but as far as far as I knew her, she was always kind of gray. My dad was always salt and pepper when I knew him, even though he had dark hair growing up. I've got this dream big, be grateful, give love, laugh lots. I love laughing. I love dressing up on the holidays in funny costumes. I like making shots for people on Friday. Just have fun. Just enjoy life and to be grateful for everything that you have it's okay to dream and want more things but be grateful for what you have and this is from erin condren love that sticker and again so are these little asterisks off to the side my steps are coming up on me i've got my weekly stats here so on the elliptical i had pedaled for 98,820 steps or repetitions i had pedaled for 28.95 hours and I did 39.51 miles all while I was sitting at my desk at work. My Fitbit steps were 46,695. I started the week at 109.6 and I finished the week at 109.6. So again, this is my kit this week. It was a rose gold kit. And my monitor, it's looking kind of like a light brown, but it is a little bit brighter in person. And Anyway, so I want to thank everyone for joining me and sharing this with me. Like I said, I thought about maybe just doing these until I catch up and not sharing them with you. But I know if I do that, my my steps are going to go down because I'm not going to feel like I, I'm being accountable to anybody. And I don't think I can trust myself just to be accountable to myself. So doing these videos is helping me to stay on track with my, to keep my metabolism metabolism up whether I'm doing my Pilates reformer or I'm doing my elliptical or trying to get more steps in during the day like when I go shopping I always try to park way in the back of the parking lot so I can get as many steps in as I can and so you guys are all helping me with that stay accountable it's just so important to me and I just can't thank you enough for sharing your time with me every time that I post these and my other videos 
just thank you thank you so much you really mean a lot to me i want to thank everyone for joining me i hope everyone gives this a video a thumbs up we'll chat again soon everyone take care everyone stay healthy and we'll chat soon bye, -bye.